Ah, on a nice rainy day like today, there are few things better than playing Harvest Moon 64. Oh! Fun! No, I, I don't think so. Hey, Internet! It's Colorful Artie! Welcome back to Harvest Moon 64! Praise be to God on this amazing day! That's better! Wow, great, thank you! Have you ever talked to animals? They may not understand words, but they immediately understand whether you like them or not, instinctively. I'm not sure if that's true or not. Hey, Poppery. Got some flowers. I'm so happy, thank you. Some of the water- She's still not, like, super friendly with us. She's still only talking about the most basic of things at her flower shop. Hey, Karen's mom, have a tomato. Oh, thank you, Karen. Oh, that reminds me. I need to do something while it's still summer. Uh, now that Ellie and Karen are both at a pink heart, if we go to the beach, that we should trigger a scene. And they don't have to be a pink heart, I think they just have to be a yellow heart or late green heart. But we can trigger a special scene here. Karen? Maybe it's none of my business, but you shouldn't worry your mom and dad. You're right, it's none of your business. What are you going to do if something happens when you're gone? You might regret it later. I don't think that living far away is such a bad thing. It's worse when a child falls victim to their parents. Sadder for both. You'll regret it later, you know! That's one of Ellie's rarest sprites. Only plays three times throughout the course of the game. If you marry her. No regrets, you mean? Regretting changes nothing. Anyway, it's my choice, not yours. So Karen kind of wants to move away from here. But she'll change her mind once the vineyard comes back to life. And because we got her to a blue heart. And Ellie, of course, is acting that way because she never really knew her parents all that well. Hey, Harris! Have some flowers. Oh, thanks, man! Whew, it's hot in the summer. I'm not good in the heat. Oh, you could have fooled me. You went all summer without mentioning that. Hey, I don't remember you seeing this. Horned beetle. Very rare, but can't sell. I'm gonna show this off to everybody I find. I've actually never picked up a horned beetle before. It's kind of cool. Hey, Harris, check this out. Oh, um, hi. <laughs> Apparently he does not like horned beetles. I can't imagine why you wouldn't. Hi there. Hi ho, I brought you some wine. What? You're working? That's okay, this is energy. Thanks, Karen. See ya. Are you trying to get me drunk, by the way? I don't appreciate that if that's the case. Alright, so what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna start harvesting the tomatoes, and then I'm gonna cut the plants down, because the tomatoes will not give me more tomatoes. That made no sense. Those plants aren't going to yield any more tomatoes for the rest of the season, so there's no point in me watering them. Basically, Zack appears in the bar occasionally, and you get a recipe for giving him a tomato. So I'd really like to give him a tomato before summer's over. Yeah, he's here! Awesome! Here, have a tomato. Hey, thanks! Let me teach you an easy soup recipe using tomatoes and milk. Even I can make it, so you should try it. And we get the easy tomato soup recipe, but it's actually tomato cream soup. Ugh, it's so good to drink after work. Haha, <laughs> it's energy for tomorrow. That's a really weird sprite. Am I the only one who thinks that? It looks nothing like his default sprite. Like, at all. Let's both try our best. This is the best way to relax after a hard day. Here, Jeff. Oh, thank you. He's just gonna keep asking us about Ellie if we talk to him, so no point. She's talkative and noisy because she does my share of the talking, too. Oh! Is, she, is he talking about Anne or Poppery? Interesting. I like to rest on holidays, read a book, that kind of thing. And you're not gonna be happy with anything we give you, so... Later! 
To be honest, I'm not sure if my corn is going to grow another time before summer's end. I hope it does. Alright, we can refrigerate one of those tomatoes. And then level up our sickle. Oh, hang on, actually. I forgot, we need to feed the dog. I should have fed him the edible grass I picked, but... Oh well. Alright, it's not too late. I can level this up. Hey birdies. The sea is best in summer. Karen. How cryptic. I think at the end of the day I should have 30,000 G. So I might try to purchase the greenhouse today. We'll just have to wait and see. Hey Cliff. Hi, what? I came to see the horses. Sure. Wow, great, thank you. This was collected from shearing those sheep. It's plenty for making wool yarn. Oh, thank you. Why must those two always argue? Oh, getting a little bit of a better glimpse at her life. Bum ba -dum bum We might get a Maria Karen scene up here. Nope. Maybe that's only in spring. I wonder if my mother's really happy in her marriage. Oh, wow. Okay. We went there. <laughs> Plot twist, Karen's mom is happy in her marriage, she just is worried about Karen. The human body has been designed to work in the day and to rest at night. Um, yeah. No duh. One greenhouse, please. Shall I make that? Yes. Okay, I'll drop by the farm to make an estimate. Give me the lumber and money then. We're gonna drop by at the end of the day, don't you know? If we wanted to, we could keep that head carpenter waiting at our farm for a very long time. Like we arrive at five in the morning, he's like, Ah, I'm about time! <laughs> that guy's dedicated. Move it, please. Good, okay, I'll get started tomorrow. <laughs> we have 40 G left. That is amazing. We literally spent like all of our money on that and we probably have like no lumber left. But doggone it, it's gonna be so worth it. We should start leveling up our hoe again. Because once we get the greenhouse, we're going to have to do a lot of digging. I can't believe we're getting the greenhouse this early. It's going to be... That's going to break the game so much. It's going to make the episodes take a lot longer to record as well. But it also means, like, we will never need money again, really. So I think that's everything, more or less. We dig, 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 dig in the kitchen the whole day through. We dig, 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 dig to get the hold and go. <laughs> the hold and go. That's the word. I can't wait to get the hold and go. Can't you? The last day of summer. I'm gonna miss summer. It's such a great time. Hello, here's tomorrow's forecast. It'll clear up and become a lovely autumn day. Oh yeah! Yep. Sickle sounds good. Actually, we'll need the brush. Move it, bird! Yay, my corn grew! Boom, ba -dum, boom. We're probably not gonna do much in Moon Mountain today then, because our corn is grown and we need to pick it all. And I do mean. We need to pick it all. How much fodder? 12 fodder. Well, that's fine, because we're our grass is grown. Dog food. The rest can be sold. Tammy. I forgot I named it Chicken Tammy. I think that's all the exclusive two summer things we have left to do. So... Today can be pretty much anything we want. Cause it's nothing to do today, day. Hey Karen's mom! Have a tomato. 
Oh, thank you. I understand what he's saying, but children, they don't always stay children. Ooh. Apparently, it's the vineyard's day off today. Oh, never mind, it's just not 9 o'clock. I dropped in on her house way early, apparently. Batman! Thank you. Aw, oh, lame. Nobody's here. Well, Poppery's here. Have some flowers. I'm so happy, thank you. Some of the lottery prizes you can't get any other way. Good luck. Hey, Basil. Have some new flowers. Huh, thank you very much. I can read books a little now. Yeah. I'm going to have a great big farm when I grow up. Your farm would be real pretty with lots of flowers. That's true. Hi, you always look busy. I just gotta pop in occasionally. Hope I didn't interrupt any important school lessons. Hey Rick, any uh, <laughs> chance you could let your old buddy Artie in? Thank you. Yay, Anne's here. I hoped she would be. Wow, great, thank you. Here I am on one of my rare days off, helping in an invention. How unromantic. I don't I've never seen her say that! Oh my gosh! <laughs> That's a good one, Anne. Rick, what are you laughing about? Oh, apparently Anne actually does want to be in a relationship. She's just like, why do I have to help out this my loser cousin? Wow! <laughs> I've never seen that before. That's awesome. Awesome that you get another uh, Anne dialogue exclusive if you're good friends with her. And uh, visit Rick's shop. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Alright. I think now all I want to do is go to my farm and harvest my crops. It's okay, just mind your own business. It's my farm, doofus! My horse is just going nuts, like, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, I love running into him at this house. This is the best. Hey, what are you guys doing? The greenhouse isn't built yet! He's just like, yeah, whatever, we're leaving. I guess it's three o'clock. They've been working a lot, so sure, go home, get some good rest. But I want it done pretty soon. Are you here? Because once it's done, I can begin to make my fortune. I'm kind of tempted to freeze the rest of the corn just to give to Anne. I'm trying to figure out how many uh, autumn seeds I want to buy. Because if I'm, in, if I'm being perfectly honest, the autumn seeds really stink. Like, you don't get a lot of money for them. Alright, I think that's all I want to sell. I'm going to freeze the rest of the corn and I'm going to spend the rest of the night sickling my old crops. Alright, good night everybody. When we wake up tomorrow, it'll be a whole new season. Welcome to Autumn, and I love the Autumn music. Hello, tomorrow's forecast, it'll clear up and be will come a lovely Autumn day. That doesn't sound like Michigan. I think the Autumn music is very love it or hate it. I really like the Autumn music, though. And everything's a bit brown now. And my grass is fully grown. Hooray! More fodder. Honestly, I'm only going to buy one or two things of autumn seeds, I think. Because once I get the greenhouse, I can plant anything I want. And the autumn seeds are... I'm not exaggerating when I say they are the worst seeds in the entire game. I think they sell for less than turnips. It's also Ellie's birthday today, so I want to give her a birthday gift. She'll appreciate it. I can't remember when Karen's birthday is. I really can't. And my plants are dead. It's kind of sad. Now in this is the season to eat good food. Don't eat too much. It's for me, Ellie. <laughs> oh my gosh! That's so sweet of her! The carpets have arrived! It'll make your room bright. Rick's shop. No mail today. Oh yeah, Rick's carpets are awesome. 
It's Friday, so Anne will be at Green Ranch. What is up, Gray? What is up, Gray? What up? What do you want, Anne? Don't hang around, Anne. Well, I just wanted to give her a piece of corn. I know she likes them, but I happen to have an abundance. Here, Anne. Wow, great, thank you. I should pay a visit to Maria, too. It's been a while. Uh, hello. I, um, er, well, never mind. Please forget it. Are you sure? Nelly. Happy birthday. What? A birthday gift? Thank you. Eat sweets to re-energize when you get tired. You can eat between jobs. I don't want to get her affection up too high, though. I don't... Maybe I do. We'll have to see. Alright, yeah, one thing to buy. Those are eggplant seeds. It's the only fall vegetable. One pack costs 300G! 300G? What? Um, uh, I'm only gonna buy one. <laughs> Thank you very much. We'll ship these things out to the farm for you, okay? If I was, if I didn't already have a greenhouse and I wasn't that close to getting a greenhouse, you better believe I would plant like six of them. But as we can see from here, eggplants only sell for 60G a piece, and they do keep regrowing like tomatoes. But 60G a piece is pretty bad. Smiley faces are marked on the 10th to the 12th. That's a subtle hint that I'll get into a little bit later. I don't like the fall. It looks lonely, and my hubby sets out on the road again. Time passes so slowly in the fall and the winter. Oh, I'm sorry. That can't be fun or easy. Poppery's not around. Hey, Ricky! I heard you had a carpet for sale? Yes, that's a room carpet. Nice design, eh? No, it doesn't fly. The price is 3,000 G. It's a lot, but I'll buy it. Thank you. We'll ship you the goods later. Thank you. I can show you the world. Shining, shimmering, splendid. Tell me, princess, now when did you last let your heart decide? I still got tomatoes! Oh, thank you. I'm sorry, I was thinking about something. Oh, I totally get it. Boom, 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 boom. Alright, but uh, when you check out Moon Mountain, you're gonna be like, What? This looks totally different. We got mushrooms! Still got the edible grass, flowers are gone, but it looks very beautiful. Hey, Bats, we'll have a flower. Oh, thank you very much. So you're growing crop. Dude, come on. Jeepers. Mushrooms are everywhere, though, and it's awesome. Oh, hey, Anne. Oh yeah, this is a special scene. Look, look, right here! There's an acorn next to some rabbit poop. The rabbit's probably hiding the acorn to eat later. But it's going to forget about it in the spring, and the acorn is going to sprout! <laughs> Sounds like somebody I know. What?! Wow, you scared me! Who's the somebody you're talking about? I'm talking about the person who keeps forgetting about the treats he hides in the cabinets and drawers. It's not like I forgot about them! You like stale candy? Forget it! <laughs> I love that scene. It's like one of the only scenes you get in the game that actually shows off their sibling dynamic. And the only scene where Gray's not a total jerk. Hey, have a mushroom! Wow, thank you! How about if we teach you a delicious mushroom recipe? And we get the mushroom salsa recipe. Sounds interesting. That is a poison mushroom! Looks like the Mario mushrooms, but people will hate it if you give it to them, and you can't sell them. And don't eat them. Hey, monkey! These are wild grapes! Those are really good. And Tails is in the village.
Let's throw out the edible grass, shall we? Yeah, there's just so much to get in autumn. So much stuff to forage. And it sells for a decent bit, too. Hello, anybody home? Hey, Harris, what's up? Hi, I just went to visit the craftsmen, and they gave me all these mushrooms. Here, have some. That's very nice of you, dude, but the craftsmen have been working at my place building the greenhouse all day, so that doesn't hold water. Well, see you tomorrow. Well, that's very nice of the mailman. Hey, thanks, Harris. Oh, just the many things I love about this game. Oh, that's right, I didn't give my dog the egg. That's fine, I'll just sell it. I think I'll visit the bar tonight as well. Because the wild grapes can make some really good gifts for people at the bar. Bottle up, bottle up, bottle up, bottle up, bottle up. This is all today's shipment. I'm taking it. Deal with it. Oh, well, that's right. We need to plant our eggplant seeds as well. And look at that carpet. Doesn't it look all nice? Let's see, I don't need the bell. I don't need the hammer, either. Well, maybe I'll hold on to it. Yeah, that looks good. Hey, doggy. Plus, it's very quiet in autumn nights. Who's ready for Jack? Jack's got the goods. Ooh, nice turnout. Cool. Let's both try our best. It's so good to drink after work. <laughs> it's hard work, but I like a big harvest. Hey, Regis! I found these grapes in the woods and thought you'd like them. I feel good tonight. I'll teach you how to make a special cocktail for nights like this. And we get the hot spicy wine recipe. Problems at work, problems with girls. People talk about all kinds of things here. Well, isn't that fascinating, Regis? Here's tomorrow's forecast. It'll rain from the morning and will be a little chilly. Yoo-hoo, brother! Hey, brother, did you know that the cow festival's on the 4th? If you had a big cow, you could enter it in the contest. Say, so, yeah. Yeah, I actually forgot about that, but I wasn't planning on entering the cow contest this year anyways. It's nearly impossible to win first year. Actually, it might be impossible to win first year. I really do need to build up my fodder supply by cutting the grass frequently, because if I don't, I'm kind of in trouble. Come winter time, I'll have to buy some from Green Ranch. Now that it, that it, no! Now that it's autumn, we can see at least one more scene between the girls. Move it, chickens. Actually, Anne might not be at a high enough affection level yet for me to see her scenes. Hey, carpenters! Carpenters assemble! It's the harvest season, Karen. Yeah, I kind of knew that more than you did, Karen. Hey, Anne. Brought you some more corn. Wow, great, thank you. We use fruit to dye the yarn. Yes, Anne. Tell me something I don't know. So I believe a scene should trigger here if Anne's at a high enough affection level. Maybe not. Daddy's always traveling, so he's very busy. Letters are good! When you find a letter in the mailbox, doesn't it make you happy? No, when I get a letter in the mailbox, I get worried if it's like, It's time for your dental checkup! <laughs> hello! Boom, ba -doom, boom, boom. Hey dude! If you don't know something, just ask someone in the village! I'm counting on you for what? 
What could I be doing that you could possibly count on? Here, Karen's mom. Oh, thank you. I'm sorry, I was thinking about something. It takes a lot of tomatoes to get her to hand over your recipe. But, it is worth it. And by doing so, you become friends with her and she opens up a little to you. Hey dudes, Jack's in the house! Hey, you! I was wondering if you'd be around here. Take this. Oh, thank you very much! Oh, you're, you're perfectly welcome. He's about to go back, so we need to do our best to build up his affection levels. So, fun fact, if we go in here, Potion Shop Dealer should be in here. If we give him a Poison Mushroom, I'm not sure how well I can use those, but let's try whipping something up! That'll unlock the second potion in his shop, which is... like a cure-all kind of thing? It's pretty good. Worth getting, at least. Hey, fisherman! Also, because we got the wild grapes, assuming it's not too late, I want to go back to the vineyard and give them to Karen's dad, because that is literally the only gift in the game that boosts his affection level at all. Here you go. Why do you flatter me? What do you expect from me? So it doesn't sound like that raises his affection at all, but it does. A little bit. So, try to give them uh, him some wild grapes as much as you can during autumn. And I need to get my money back up! And it's definitely time for me to start cutting some grass. This is all today's shipment, right? Remember, each grass I cut gives me one piece of fodder for my silo. Woohoo! Silver sickle! Sweet! Look what we can do now! Aw oh, man, you missed! That's still awesome. Oh no! That means our fatigue is low. Or I guess our fatigue is high. Darn it! Alright. Still, the silver sickle looks pretty boss. Don't you agree? Like, comment, and subscribe if you agree. But if you disagree, don't dislike. I don't appreciate that. And that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Wow, I'm not sure how much of this footage I'm actually going to show. I felt like it was a pretty boring episode, but looking back, we did do quite a bit. We got the carpet. We gave people some stuff. We finished up summer. Started autumn. I think we did a good bit. So, on the next episode, we'll be doing the Cow Festival. And depending on how much I play, I might even do one or two of the girls' photo events. We'll just have to wait and see. Have a great day, and God bless.